All right, so just a little arithmetic sequence question here. Find k given the consecutive arithmetic terms, k minus 1, 2k plus 3, and 7 minus k. If terms are in an arithmetic sequence, they have a common difference. That means if I take the third term, 7 minus k, and subtract the second term, 2k plus 3, that must equal the second term, 2k plus 3, minus that first term, k take 1. The difference has to be constant between terms, so I can do it term 3 minus term 2. That would be the same as term 2 minus term 1. Now it's just simplify, and we're home. No coefficient here, so that's just going to be 7 minus k. Using my distributive law, negative 2k and negative 3, when I distribute the negative in front of the brackets, that'll be minus 2k minus another 3. That's going to equal 2k plus 3. Nothing has to happen there. Negative 1 by k is negative k. Negative 1 by negative 1 is positive 1. I think for this one, we'll just simplify each side first of all. So numbers first, 7 minus 3 is 4. Negative k, take away 2 more k is negative 3k. What's that equal to on the other side? 2k minus k would be 1k. And 3 plus another 1 is 4. Almost home. Let's get... Oh, I don't like it when it does that. Let's get our terms together. I want to get all my k's on the right because negative 3 is less than positive 1. I'm going to get rid of the negative 3. So let's add 3k to each side there. And then here I've got plus 4. If I'm getting my k's on the right, I want to get rid of that 4. So I'm going to subtract 4 from each side. It's going to go off my screen again, but we get it back pretty quickly. Looking at that now, 4 minus 4 is 0. Negative 3 play k plus 3k is also 0, so the left-hand side is 0. And on the right-hand side, I am going to have 4k. If I divide each side by 4, it's pretty obvious that k has to equal 0. Does that make sense? Because that's pretty unusual to get k equaling 0. If k equals 0, what would this sequence become? 0 minus 1 would be negative 1. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. 7 minus 0 is 7. Oh, that has a constant difference of 4, doesn't it? So even though it's a bit unusual where we've got k equaling 0, it works fine. And there you have it. Hope that helps. Keep up the good work. Keep asking me questions. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.